Well, we're Kedna Dandy, the youngest tailors on Savile Row. We were founded in 2008 and we moved to Savile Row full time about three years after that. And I think being the youngest guys on the street allows you a greater flexibility to craft what you want rather than craft to what you traditionally always have done. And we have that flexibility that we don't have to stick to our house style. We can have a bit more fun with it. We can see customers who are teenagers through to their 80s and we can make each one of them look different. So we can actually really make them a lot more personalized than the other tailoring houses that really have to stick to their traditional way and their traditional style. And it is that flexibility that I think resonates with our customers. I think that they do appreciate coming in here and we can really, you know, create and build them a suit, a wardrobe that is exactly what they want. Because everybody has a, a different opinion of how they want their suit to look. You know, that being said, we have a lot of wedding customers, we have a lot of city customers. So the range of people that we see here is absolutely incredible. And I think our competitive pricing means that we see that huge, fantastic spectrum of society. I guess it's the same concept you have in restaurants nowadays where you know, there are lots of open restaurants where you can see the chefs at work. We want every single customer to see the skill that's going on. We very much want to make that an integral part of the process of coming in, that you can see people making the suits. You know, because it is teamwork that puts a suit together. And it's very much important to us that we put that on show as much as the skill. You know, it's an atmosphere that we want to try and create. Each suit goes through a series of different processes. Obviously, everything needs to have a pattern made. That's one of the main sort of key elements of having a bespoke suit made is the fact that it's made off a bespoke pattern. It's not just a generated, altered pattern that's done by a computer. It is done by hand. And it's the skill of the cutter that goes into making that suit look so fantastic. Once the cutter has then cut the cloth, it then needs to go to a baster or a coat maker to sort of begin to put the suit together ready for a first fitting. And that's really the first opportunity for us to see the garment on the customer and for the customer to see the garment in its infancy. And it then gives us the opportunity to make sure that the sleeve pitch is hanging correctly, the jacket is the right length, and also the customer to give us feedback on how it looks and you know, what he would like changed. And that's the beauty of doing a handmade suit is that you can alter it and change it as you're going along in the process. John, our head cut, always jokes that we're not making sausages. You know, you can't just put something in one end and it out pops another. There are so many people involved in this. One jacket isn't made by one person. A cutter cuts it, a coat maker puts it together, a finisher does the buttonholes, puts the linings in in a presser, which is a hugely important, hugely skilled job, then presses all the shape and puts the life into the garment. So every customer can end up coming in three or four times. So it is a process, it is an experience that the customer goes on in having something made. And you know, it's amazing how many customers just come back because they realize how bad everything else is fitting that they're used to wearing. And that's why so much skill is needed in it, because it is a unique thing. Every customer shape is different. Everybody wants it to fit differently. So it's just about working with that guy to give him the best jacket that's going to stand him in the best stead, make him look the best it can look. We want to be open and friendly and, you know, we want to make an enjoyable process, not only for the customer, but for us. We have to work here, so it's really important that we, you know, create an atmosphere that we want to work in because that's the atmosphere our customers want to come into. How are you doing, sir? We're ready for your close-up now. <laughs> <laughs>